Hello everyone, welcome to globallytraining.com. In this video, we will look at UFT 14.5 installation. By the way, UFT is now owned by the company called microfocus.com. Let us go to Google and search for UFT download. Okay, if I can spell it correctly, but still it pulled it up. The very first link points to microfocus.com. Let me click that. And here is the UFT downloads page. On this page, we have two options to download the software. The first one is the UFT 14.51 DVD.zip. This is a zipped file, but the installation itself is not in a compressed format, meaning it is uncompressed. It is approximately 3.5 GB in size. The second one is the setup.exe, which is a single setup.exe file, but it is in the compressed format. Based on your preference, download the UFT software. For the sake of demo, I'm going to click on the dvd.zip link. Here is the registration page. You'll have to go through the registration process. Microfocus.com would send you a confirmation email. You would click a link within the email and your account gets established. Once the account is established, then you should be able to log in to download the trial software. After the registration and confirming your email address using the email that you receive from microfocus.com, you should be able to you know, download the UFT software. Now that I have done with my registration and also the activation, let me go ahead and download the software. And for the sake of this demo, I want to click on the very first link, which is UFT 14.51 DVD.zip. And it should start here in a few seconds. Okay, then the download had started. And let me go to the folder. As you can see, I already have both the DVD and the compressed the setup.exe file downloaded. Just so you know, it may take some time, uh, depending on your internet speed. Uh, 3.5 gigs is a pretty big file, and even just the setup.exe, it's a one gig. So depending on your internet speed, pick the one that you want, and then we can go from there. Here is the downloaded software, and uh, let us use the setup.exe file for the installation. Right-click on the file and select Run as Administrator. Here is the user account control screen. Go ahead and click yes for this. As I had mentioned before, the .exe, which is a compressed format, needs to first extract the installation files into a temporary location before it can actually kick off the installation. So on this screen, you know, it is by default extracting it to C colon temp slash Unified functional testing. You can customize this path to your needs, but let us accept the defaults and move forward. The extraction had started and it might take anywhere from one minute to several minutes depending on your system speed. The extraction is done and it is now displaying you the list of prerequisite programs it needs. So depending on your system, that particular list might be small or a long list. It all depends on your current state of your system. Go ahead and accept the defaults. There is nothing to do anyway. Just click OK on the screen. Prerequisites are being installed now.
Click Next. Accept the license by checking the checkbox and click Next. Here is the add-ins screen and you can select the add-ins that are by default not selected to be installed with your installation process. So select the desired ones and click next. On this screen, you can uh, select the second and the third option depending on your need for the project, meaning if you want to invoke the UFT scripts remotely from ALM or remotely from some sort of an automation scripts, you can check those checkboxes and click install. But for this demo, I'll just accept the defaults and click the install button. Okay, the installation is done. Let me click the finish button and then start the UFT application. Click continue button to use the trial license. This dialog box displays the list of add-ins that are currently installed on your system. Some are selected by default and some are not. The add-ins that you select will depend on the project that you'll be working with. Say for example, you're working with a .NET application, then definitely you would need .NET add-in. And again, you know, the more add-ins you use, the more heavy it becomes. So, you know, select just the add-ins that are relevant for the project. You can also use the show on startup checkbox. You know, if you disable it, this particular prompt will not show up when you start your UFT. And if you want it to be displayed every time you start your UFT, leave the checkbox and click OK. The very first time you start the UFT application on Windows 10, you will definitely encounter this particular Windows Defender Firewall prompt. All you have to do is click Allow Access and you're good to go. And we are in. Here is the UFT interface. Well guys, in this video, we downloaded the software and installed it. Well, that's it in this video. See you in the next.